More than two weeks after the attack on Palma in Mozambique, the city is finally back in the army's grips. But the road ahead will not be easy. The Islamist insurgency to the north continues to fester. The regional leadership wants to step in, but Mozambique's president is still weighing his options. Our next report gets you more. A flailing terror group is eyeing fresh pastures. Africa's Muslims are the new targets of Islamist radicalization. The hopes of a caliphate have dimmed in West Asia, but in this belt of poverty and instability, Islamist terrorism is alive and kicking. For three years, insurgency was brewing in Mozambique's northern province of Cabo Delgado. Last month, it reached a tipping point, a direct attack on the coastal city of Palma. Dozens were killed, thousands forced to flee. After a bloody battle, the army has secured Palma. The terrorists have been driven out of the city. And as the army fanned out, they discovered 12 bodies strewn near a local hotel. All of them were decapitated. A medical team has been dispatched to identify them. Officials, meanwhile, say the victims appear to be foreigners. For the families, it is a step towards closure. But for Mozambique, it is a long battle ahead. On Thursday, the South African Development Committee convened a region that has enjoyed relative stability. The leaders are keen to keep it that way. We all agree that the deteriorating situation in the northern province of Cabo in Mozambique is indeed a serious threat to peace and security, not only in our sister country, but also to the whole region and humanity at large. The bloc says it cannot remain indifferent to the situation in Mozambique. It is planning to deploy a technical team to the capital. Its objectives and composition are yet to be published. But Zimbabwe's president is calling for military intervention. He wants the regional SADC force to be revived. But a foreign intervention depends on what Mozambique wants. The president has indicated that the battle against Islamists isn't over yet. But the question is, does he intend to fight this battle alone? It is not about empty pride, he says, but about a sense of sovereignty. No war is won if it's not clear from the start what must be done by our country and what must be done by the Allies. But the president must decide quickly. Thousands are fleeing Mozambique. The crisis is straining the United Nations aid efforts and neighboring Tanzania has a swarm of refugees at its gates. West Asia's caliphate dream was quashed by world powers. They were driven by their ambition to preserve oil reserves. But Africa has long been the neglected continent. A caliphate here may not spur the same response. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.